Okay, I've written another interesting integral sent to me by Sid. We have the integral from minus infinity to zero of four arctan e to the x to the n minus one times hyperbolic secant of x dx. Okay, right away the first thing I notice is just that we have arctan of e to the x here and hyperbolic secant over here. I know there's a relationship with the derivative and the integral. I always forget exactly what it is. I know it's basically that when you take the integral of this, you get back this in some form. So I know it's not gonna be quite exactly this whole thing here, but I wanna do a u substitution to clean it up. So we might as well take this four with us and just do the u substitution as four times arctan e to the x. Then we'll go ahead, we'll take a derivative. So for du, this is gonna be, we'll bring the four out front. For arctan, we get like, if this is arctan x, it's one over x squared plus one. So we're gonna have one over this thing squared, which I'll write as e to the two x plus one. Then we need the chain rule. Derivative of this is just gonna be e to the x dx. But I don't really like it in this form. I wanna get the hyperbolic secant out of this. So what I'll do is if I multiply in numerator and denominator by e to minus x, that's gonna clean this up. So then first, I think for this four, I'm gonna actually split this up and write it as two times two. So I'm gonna have one two in the front, and then I'm gonna bring two into the numerator here. This e to the x times e to the minus x, that's just one. Then distributing in in the denominator, e to the minus x times e to the two x is gonna be e to the x. And then here, one times e to the minus x, that's just gonna be plus e to the minus x. But then what we have this right here, this is actually gonna be the hyperbolic secant of x. You may be more familiar if you write this in terms as cosh of x, right? Cosh of x is going to be e to the x plus e minus x over 2. But this is just the reciprocal of this, and that's why we end up with hyperbolic secant. So cleaning this up, for our du value, we'll just write this as 2 hyperbolic secant of x, dx. So before I substitute, just to set this up, let's just multiply in the 2 right here. So now all this is going to be our du. I don't want to change it, so let's multiply by 1 half in front. Go ahead with the substitution. First, updating our bounds. When we plug in zero here, e to the zero is just one. Arctan of one is pi over four times four. Then we just have pi for the upper bound. Plug in minus infinity here. e to the minus infinity is going to zero. Arctan of zero is just zero. Then go ahead and substitute again. This is just gonna be u right here. So what we've done is we've reduced it all the way down to u to the n minus one du. But then for this, we can just go ahead and use power rule on this integral here. Add one, this is gonna be u to the n over n, and we just need to evaluate from zero to pi. When you evaluate zero, that's just all going to zero, so we just need to plug in pi right here. And so for my final solution is we just get pi to the n over two n. Okay, thanks again to Sid for the problem. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.